Uh-huh. Doesn't matter what they think. <laughs> oh, no more in the estapacaliado. Oh, le bebe di apasciadopre. In a man ba no mo go lombon jemba. Me ne mo mo ribi a casti a cello soso. Woo, prefet. Yeah, I'm not going to Skipi <laughs> And a mamma more vieste, and a manjugura televia, and sacara di estocora, e boy, e ha, woo, prefia pala, many in socora de. Mike Evans, Mike Evans, come here, come and run it. Mama's going to the man that I did to make Lima Oh, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And the great dimension of the supernatural, the great dimension of the spirit that you've hungered and cried for, yes, even this night is your portion. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Take a deep drink. Take a deep, deep drink of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> New anointings. <laughs> <laughs> the Vineyard Fellowship is a loose collection of hundreds of evangelical churches scattered across North America. But in 1994, the claim that the Holy Spirit was appearing at a vineyard meeting near Toronto Airport brought thousands of Christians here looking for dramatic physical evidence of the presence of God. How many are here from the United States someplace? Stand up and wave your hands. You know, it has to be God to get Americans to come to Toronto in January. The founder of the Toronto Vineyard Fellowship is Pastor John Arnott. There's many um, things that God is doing around the world that, you know, didn't have its beginnings here. But because it spread so rapidly from here, um, with people coming in from all over the world, uh, they, they're sort of saying, well, for them, it happened in Toronto. The Toronto Vineyard Fellowship has humble origins. On January 20th, 1994, Pastor Arnott was leading a small group of believers in prayers for a sign from God. We were surprised by what happened because the, the Holy Spirit came in, in, in great power and just floored everybody, literally, you know, it was just people all over the floor and these people were laughing or crying or responding, positively responding to what God was doing in their life. It's what we would describe as an outpouring of the Holy Spirit as he would come and touch the lives of people and impact them in various ways, but usually powerful ways. In the last year, Pastor Arnoff's gatherings have drawn nearly 200,000 visitors, many of whom are convinced the Holy Spirit is moving amongst them. But being shaken by the Holy Spirit is not a new idea, and was not seen for the first time at the Toronto Vineyard. Flamboyant TV evangelists like Benny Hinn have gained worldwide fame for revival meetings where remarkable and even bizarre things can happen. Benny Hinn's a personal friend of mine. I've known him for over 20 years when his ministry first started, also in this city. 
Um, and so he's he's affected my life in terms of the the way that he's greatly used uh, along the lines of physical healing. You know, that's kind of his strength there. But to say they impacted the vineyard as a movement, um, I don't think so. I, I would doubt that. Is it possible that a lot of people who cry and scream and laugh are doing it because they've seen other people do it and think that that's the way to behave? We're not dealing with some sort of a fringe movement here, or the fringe of the charismatic movement, but we're talking about major leaders from every main denomination have been touched and impacted, and many of them have endorsed it and experienced it for themselves. But surely when you're up on stage and you look down, you must see some people who are faking it or doing it I really it because... don't. No, I really don't. I'm, I'm sure that we can say it does go on, on a, at a very minimal level, but I'm very content that it's a, it's a very minimal level. Tell me what's your name and where you're from and what's been happening. Um, One of the most startling manifestations of the Toronto Blessing has become known as Holy Laughter. Members of Pastor Arnott's ministry team pray with visitors to the vineyard, who then, for no apparent reason, burst into fits of uncontrollable laughter. Faithful firmly believe this laughter is caused by each person being filled with the Holy Spirit. But there are those who do not believe that what happens at the Toronto Vineyard is a direct sign of God's hand. The first I knew Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Renew her now, Lord. It's ought to, in my opinion, be done in private, but evidently, God doesn't do it that way. We've tried to accommodate it, Peter. We've carried people out of the room. We've taken them into other places. We've, we've had teams assigned to do that. But the Lord just keeps inundating us with so many that we can't keep up. Something. Wait till they come to Boston. Don't leave us to ourselves. Don't leave us to yes. our foolish thinking. Lord, we want all that you have. All, yes. all that you have. Yes. And Lord, if it blows our little minds, let them be blown. Father, we want all of what you have. All of what you have. We thank you. Hallelujah. And he had a, God told me to look at him, and I looked at him, and he had a tie on, and on, I don't know if he's here tonight, but he'll know, on the tie had a wolf howling at the moon. And the Lord said to me, will you howl for me? I said, don't ask me to do that, Lord. He said, if I ask you, will you do it? He said, if I can't ask you to do something in your own house, how are you going to do it out there? So, 